Hi, welcome to this tutorial. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do custom F curves in here. So if you take a look at what we've got now, we have just a box moving and it stops. And if I wanna give this some sort of harder tangent like that, you can see that it's going to do its thing like that. But what if I wanted to do a custom overshoot in here and I didn't wanna do all these different things, I'm gonna show you how we can make our own function, which I can load in here and I'm just gonna Put that in now. And I can even give that some parameters. And you'll see that that automatically creates this natural overshoot for us. And now this gets actually fully parameterized so I can start adjusting this back and forth. I can go in and I can change parameters here, including the number of frequency and how strong our decay level is. And the cool thing is that I have this also able to adapt as we move our timeline uh, keyframe up and down, change this in and out. And you'll see that if I change this into something like, well, it's Bezier now, but you can see that as I adjust the tangents, it's reading the velocity information correctly, which is very cool. And we can also use some of the default things in Houdini, like using the ease in functions here so that we can get something that is very procedural without us having to do anything and not, not do any tangent adjustments at all. So come along with me for this tutorial. It's gonna be a little bit math heavy, maybe a little bit dry, but I'm sure you're going to learn something new.